There are a lot of factors that go into keeping your PC up to peak performance. Some of them are hardware-based, and some relate to your software. Hey everyone, my name is Daniel Douglas, and today we're going to be talking about Solidime Synergy software and how you can use it to get peak performance out of your SSD. Not all SSDs are created equal, right? Some SSDs are created for high performance when you're doing gaming content creation, like the P44 Pro. Others are more for everyday use, right? And that's what we're talking more like the P41 Plus. No matter if you're a casual gamer, content creator, or just an everyday user, Solidime Synergy software is really about putting you into the driver's seat. So what is Solidime Synergy software? Solidime Synergy software is a free, innovative software suite for your PC that adds in innovative new features and added performance for your Solidime SSD. So free performance. Great, right? By closing the gap between the storage device and your PC, Solidime Synergy enables a more optimized user experience for you to take advantage of. There are two components that make up Solidime Synergy software. Both are optional, but we obviously highly recommend them. The first is going to be the Solidime Synergy driver. Now this automatically boosts performance by making what you could call under the hood advancements between the connection of your Solidime SSD and your PC. The second aspect to Solidime Synergy is the Solidime Synergy Toolkit. This offers a modern user interface that allows you to see things like drive health, information reporting, and it allows you to manually trigger some things like diagnostic scan, secure erase, and a lot of other features. So with that, let's go ahead and download the software and dive in. So to start off, we're gonna to go to solidime.com slash synergy to pull up our main page for the download. Here you'll see a more in-depth introduction to Solidime Synergy. Some of the added performance benefits, some of the actual numbers behind it, and all that great stuff. We're gonna go ahead and navigate down here to the driver and toolkit download page. Click on this. It will go down and bring down this zip file. Now that we have this downloaded, let's go ahead and dive into the installer and start the setup. Now that we're in the installer, you can see it's going to bring in two different pieces, the Solidime Synergy Toolkit and the Solidime Synergy Driver. Like I said, both optional, but we highly recommend it. We'll go through, accept the terms of the license agreement, and you can see here that it's giving me the option to say, hey, do I want the toolkit and the driver? Do I just want one? So here, because we are using a Solidime SSD, we're gonna install both the toolkit and the driver. If you don't have a Solidime SSD installed, you can still use the toolkit, but it won't automatically install the driver since the driver is dependent on having a Solidime SSD in there. We'll go ahead and hit next, and the installation is now underway. Great. Now with most any software downloads, it does require a restart. So using some video magic, we're gonna go ahead and restart the PC and get going. Now that we've restarted our system, let's go ahead and dive in. One of the first things that we wanna do is let's check to make sure that the driver correctly installed, right? So in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and open up the device manager, okay? Go down all the way here to storage controllers. And as you can see, we have the Solidime NVMe storage controller added in there with the Microsoft one that comes with your system. And we can see that that's ready to go. Let's go ahead and launch Synergy. All right, so the toolkit's gonna automatically launch the dashboard. Dashboard allows you to see all of your drive's info at a glance. You can view the overall health of your drive, the current temperature, the real-time read, write, and performance, and other helpful drive information, right? It'll give you the serial number, interface, it'll show you the host memory buffer on there, really all the, the good information that you wanna see when you're looking at your SSD. Now, real quick, let's take a look at this real-time usage. Let's, uh, let's just run a virus scan real quick. I right, will do a quick scan. Okay, and as you can see, as that's running, we'll start to see that jump in the, uh, in the read writes. All right, so we can see that uh, that real-time change. Okay, awesome. There's no viruses on my computer. I'm really happy about that. Now, as we go over, 
just click through these tabs, we can see the firmware, right? This is where it's going to give us the update uh, or status, right, of our, our current drive. Uh, and if the firmware on that drive is up to date, if it's not, right, with a solid M SSD, it's going to give you the option to update that firmware with whatever is uh, the current version. If you're using a third party SSD, uh, it'll tell you whether it's up to date or out of date, uh, but it won't allow you to update it from our software. Okay, let's go over to the driver. Driver is really similar to the firmware tab. So we can see the current version of our driver in which driver our system is currently using. So you can see here, it's an up to date. We're using version 1017. And because we have a Solidime SSD in the system, we're using the Solidime driver. We'll talk a little bit about the improvements that those make uh, in a couple tabs. We'll go ahead and go to the diagnostic scan. So the diagnostic scan, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar, it really lets you monitor the overall health of your drive and gives you the option, uh, both a quick and a full scan of your SSD. The quick test takes about three minutes and scans probably say a gig and a half of your drive uh, for read errors, as well as performing a brief integrity scan. This full version, now this is gonna take probably an hour or more, just depending on you know how much you have on there. That's gonna check you know every logical block address or an LBA. Okay, on the drive for errors, and that one performs a lot more of an in-depth integrity scan for the drive. Let's jump over to the secure erase tab real quick. Now, this is especially useful if you're planning on selling your SSD, right? Um, or if you're giving it to a family member, or friend. Uh, really, it's any time that you don't want your personal information or any of your information on that SSD still. Okay, secure erase lets you permanently delete all the data on your drive. Okay, now it's important to note though, this operation, right, so the secure race can only be performed on your drive uh, that's installed as a secondary drive in the system, right? So not the one that has your operating system on it because that would kill your system, okay? Uh, obviously, uh, also be aware that this is an irreversible operation, right? Can't stress that enough. When you secure race a drive, you can't recover that data. Once it's done, it's done. So let's jump over to Fastlane and Smart. So we'll start with Smart because it's pretty simple. Really, you just are able to see the Smart reporting of your drive. It uh, It's gonna list off everything and you'll be able to go through. Now let's jump over to Fastlane. Fastlane is one of the exciting features that is unique to SolidIM SSDs. This optimizes how data is stored by prioritizing what data is most important to you as the user, allowing you to access it more quickly. Fastlane utilizes the SolidIM Synergy driver to help intuitively understand what files, what programs, what projects you're using and be able to, like I said, allow you to access it more quickly. So whether you just downloaded the newest game, whether you're working on a project in a video editor, or maybe you're just working on something for school, your SSD can understand what files you work on the most often and prioritize to be able to launch them much faster than they would if they were just on any generic SSD. Fastlane will automatically be enabled on a solid M SSD when you download the driver and toolkit. If for whatever reason you don't like free performance or these kind of enhancements, you can disable it if you wish. The other thing that you'll notice here at the bottom, uh, the clear write cache button. Okay, So this just allows you to return your drive's write cache to just an empty state. Right, that The caching piece is going to be kind of the forefront of that SSD, what's accessed the quickest. Now, it's important to note that how Fastlane works is it puts everything at the front of the SSD that you want. If you clear the cache, it will kind of reset that, right? So that is something that we, we do call out because uh, it'll make sure that it kind of just resets what's prioritized uh, back to zero or the beginning and it will restart itself. As with any software, let's talk a little bit about personalization. So going back to the dashboard here, we obviously do have a dark mode and a light mode. This will default to whatever your system settings are. As you can see, I'm a fan of dark mode, and so it'll automatically populate to that. As we go around just to fine tune a couple last pieces, you can see some system settings here. So you can see what you're running. You can see different things within the system. You can see the different drives within the system if you have multiple ones uh, on, on deck. You can change things uh, from just Celsius to Fahrenheit when you were looking at the real-time temperature as well as look at just the about, right? This is going to give you information uh, about the, the different builds. You can send feedback to us if you wish. We love feedback. Uh, 
uh, as well as just the different components that we're using. And that's it. That is Solidime Synergy Toolkit. We've just begun to scratch the surface on how Solidime Synergy software can optimize your drive to your needs. So if you want to do more with your PC, click the link below to download Solidime Synergy and unlock the full potential of your SSD.